You all know how much of a fan of Yellow Jackets I am. Season one absolutely blew me away. And if you're wondering what this show is about and why you should check it out, the video and my comments should basically sum it all up for you. It's a season one review. There's no spoilers, but it should get you as hyped as I was when I finished that show. Uh, season two is going strong. Episode seven drops on Friday and we got some catching up to do. So with that being said, I'm actually going to be doing a review every single day this week leading up to episode 7 and recapping each episode. And what's really cool is the people over at Showtime, who are also incredible by the way, sent me some really amazing behind the scenes footage, some photos that I can't wait to share with all of you. Spoilers ahead, so if you haven't seen episode 1, hit that follow button, hit that save button, and come back to this video after you've checked it out. In order to do this review justice, I decided to take a sabbatical and join Lottie's cult. Um, I guess they gave me Nat's room, so we'll see if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Only time will tell. But the episode starts off with Lottie. And we get this whole um, sequence of basically finding out what happened to her after they returned from the wilderness. And she went through some shit. She did. And I can understand why she started a cult. It also picks up right where Nat's story ended at the end of season one, where she got kidnapped, she gets brought to this farm area, or to this room, and of course we knew it was Lottie, but only time will tell what her true motives are. We also have this really cool behind the scenes photo of Lottie's cult. We also have the fallout of what Shauna did in season one, and I loved that Missy was training Shauna on how to talk to police, and that little like voice change that she had was very reminiscent of Ghostface, and I loved every minute of it. And then you finally have Jack stepping up to the plate here, helping Shauna cover her tracks and bringing some true romance back into their lives. Although that might not have been the best time or place for that. This show does a really good job of towing the line between supernatural um, and other things. Obviously we've seen what Lottie can do, but I'm beginning to think Thaisa might be possessed because she has no recollection of what's happening. Maybe she's under the control of Lottie, only time will tell, but she finally found the shrine that she, you know, her possessed self basically created the dogs there and she's diving further and further into madness. And I'm very intrigued to see what happens with her younger self in the wilderness because we're just scratching the surface of her kind of slowly losing her mind there. And on the topic of losing one's mind, we have Shauna here and Jackie where Shauna's having a full on conversation with the dead Jackie and imagining that she's there. And then at the end of the episode proceeds to eat her ear. Excuse me while I go throw up. Listen, you do what you gotta do to survive in the wilderness, but I honestly can't wait to see what the rest of the cast reaction is to freaking Shauna eating Jackie. What did you guys think of episode one? I can't wait to see episode two, and I'm gonna leave you here with this awesome behind the scenes photo of the cast in the cabin.